What's up, YouTube? The old Bayside Geocacher, Brian Katona, back with another geocaching adventure with Stick Sport Girl. After yesterday's Fenwick Island adventure, we decided to do some more caching up in the Westchester area. And we went over to the helicopter museum where they had an adventure lab cache. Uh, we had gone over a few weeks ago, but they were having a uh, open house at the helicopter museum, so we weren't able to do it that particular day. Uh, so we did today. Um, afterward, we also went to see if we could find a couple of caches that Stick Sport Girl was unable to get uh, on her last local uh, caching adventure. So overall, pretty darn successful. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up. Always consider subscribing down below. And as you well know, the BA himself is up on Instagram. But before we get to today's caching adventure, a word from our episode sponsor, CK Productions, LLC. This episode is brought to you by Corey Katona and CK Productions for all your audio and voiceover needs. Visit www.coreykatona.com for more information. That's www.coreykatona.com. Welcome back. Today we are going to be looking for the Whirly Birds Adventure Lab cache. Um, and we're here at the American Helicopter Museum. Um, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get a couple of either pictures or some video of some of the many helicopters they have here. But for the first stage of this Adventure Lab, the question is, what is the street address of the American Helicopter Museum? So I'll click on that, and that'll be our first first stage. So we're going to take a little walk, come back when we get a little bit closer to some of the other locations, and continue our journey. From the we have moved to the side, I guess, of the museum, and you can see that there's a few helicopters behind me. So the first, or the second stage, I guess I should say, is the orange whirly bird. And as you can see me, there's an orange whirly bird right behind me. And the question here is, what year did this aircraft begin its service? There's a sign over here, Meredith. Uh, should have known it was that. <laughs> All right. So it looks like 1958. First flight occurred. Yes. Oh, began its service in 1960. Okay. All right. So that was our correct answer. And now we're going to come over to this. We're just making a little circle around here. This. So now we're over here at the white whirly bird. This one says it was built in 1987. Um. And the question here is, what was the maximum forward speed of the Model 360? So, okay. as you can see, if there's a sign. I suspect there's a sign in the front here somewhere. There we go. Here we go. Right. Maximum forward speed. Oh, here we go. Maximum forward speed of 246 miles per hour. Alrighty, and now we're going to come right over here to this green whirly bird and the green. Alrighty, so this is the Sea King. The question here is the most famous of these green whirly birds are the ones used to transport the blank. Oh, did it shut off? No. Oh, okay. I heard the little beep, so I thought maybe that's what it was. Let's see. Oh. The White House. Where did it? All 
great. And now we'll go right in front of me to the bad boys of Bravo. This is the gray whirly bird. Go Navy, beat Army. Go Navy. Navy. The BA is a, B, is a Navy guy. The question is, what is the rotor rotor diameter of the Sea Sprite helicopter? I don't know if that's how you say rotor, but it's R O T R V O R. So, um, let's see. Rotor diameter is 44 feet. Alrighty. So just like that, we finished our adventure lab here at the American Helicopter Museum. So hopefully you got to see some cool This is very cool. Helicopters. Is there a There is a bonus cache. So we are we got some of the coordinates and we will come back when we are closer to Welcome them. back. We are here in West Ocean Township Park because we are looking for the early early birds lab bonus cache. Um, so we got the coordinates after we did the Adventure Lab over at the American Helicopter Museum, so now we're going to try and find it. Um, it's a micro and the hint says, large evergreen tree, circle around to the clear entry point, look for a black bison on a branch, just a few inches above your head, about five feet away from me. So, a lot of detail in that hint, so. We're thinking it's that yeah, guy right there. That guy right there, so we're gonna take a little stroll down there see what we can find. Eagle Eye, Mr. B.A. <laughs> Mr. B.A. to make that quick find today, but, and that hint was very, very that good. That was a wonderful hint. A beautiful hint, so. Because that, that, that bison tube would blend into this. Very well. Very, very well. Yeah. All righty, so we have now completed the Whirly Birds Adventure Lab cache and bonus cache. So I will sign the log and we'll come back for hopefully another cache today. If not, We'll be back in another adventure. So we are back over um, in a nursing home parking lot and or assisted living, independent living parking lot. And we're looking for a cache called November 205 Delta Echo. And this one is a size other. The cache description says it is not one of those, so don't even look there. However, I'd say this hide has only a slightly, I think it's higher calling. Um, the hint is fence. So right now we're about 25-ish feet away. So and I tried to find this one once before by myself and I was not successful. So I'm hoping that having two pairs of eyes. The BA, help. maybe the BA could see it. Right. So. We're going to navigate over closer to the fence, try to take a look and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully we avenge my previous did not find. So, Mr. B.A., well documented. Here we go there, as you guys can see. There we go. Now I'm so mad that I didn't find this the first time I found it. Because I definitely tried a bunch of these. But, but you didn't. did you realize that they popped off? You know, I tried them because, like, when my coordinates did it, it was further away from, like, the lamppost, so. But I should have known. It said something about the lamppost, so I should have known to look by the lamppost. It's okay. I, the, fir the first time we, uh, the first time we did that, I didn't try to pop that off uh, as easily. And then I got one off, and I'm like, well, maybe there's some others. So, yes. all right, we're going to get that one, and yes. we're good here. Good job, Mr. B. Welcome back. We're here to find and hopefully avenge another DNF of mine. For here comes the hoagie man number eight. And for those of you not from the Philadelphia area, the hoagies are better known as from Wawa. And Wawa is a staple of the diet in the Philadelphia area. Yes, and a hoagie is a sub. It's just that that's what we call it here in the Philadelphia area. So, um, let's see. So this, it says it's a size other. The hint is, nope, not under there, but your prospects are looking up. So right now we're about 15 feet away. Okay, so Mr. B.A. put his hand back behind here. There it is. Yep, that's what they usually look like, something like this. 
Prospects looking up. Prospects are looking up. So, you know, everything's clearer the second time around. <laughs> Mr. Mr. B.A. was had a good cashing yes, day has. today. He's been, he's been he studly today. Roll. He found uh, a few that uh, Stick Sport Girl did not find previously. So. so, he's a very good day for Mr. B.A. And we have avenged a few caches and... All in all, a very productive day. So I will sign this log and we will see you the next time.